It's Thursday, May the 12th, King of the Mountain State Show, presented by the Dutch Miller Auto Group. I'm Chase Hill, and I'm here with the one-eyed wolf, Rob Perez. <laughs> All right. Hey, man, I'm glad to have you here. Glad to have you in the tournament. You're on quite the run right now. You, you, uh, you just, you know, you've had some big fights. You just beat Chancey Hensley for that belt you've got there up in Parkersburg. And, uh, then you took care of Derek Gibson, one of the, one of the top guys in the state. So you're on quite the win streak here. Thank you. Thank you. So tell me about this amateur record. You're six and one and sanctioned bouts and stuff, which is a great record. Tell me how you got to this point at six and one. Um, really? Uh, the, uh, the way I got to where I'm at right now is just really hard work and dedication. Um, and pushing myself, mind you, um, all six wins, even my loss was under no, um, under no coaching staff. Um, so now, uh, that I am where I am and I want to take it even further because I know I can, and I'm ready to go to that next level. I got my, uh, gym camp, get right out in what's the mass. And, uh, it, it's, you're going to see it night and day, uh, June 18th. It's, it's, it's going to be a scary sight. Very scary. So th those, those couple names that I mentioned that you just beat, you fought some good fighters so far. You haven't had anything easy given to you and, you, and you've done really, yeah. really well. Let's talk about round one with Derek Gibson. Derek's a beast. Like, he came out. He was on point that first round. Uh, he was really showing what he had, and, and as the fight went, it went your way, and you kind of took over. Talk me through that fight with Derek. Um, so pretty much like every fight I have, I like to – you know, I treat it like football when it comes to boxing. Um, I like to study film. And I like to expose your weakness in the ring. Um, same thing on the field. But so uh, seeing all his fights, he wasn't much of a combination guy. He, you know, he was talented, uh, good core, good footwork. Uh, just his punches weren't, it was just like, he'd come out in the first round like jab, 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 cross, jab. So that's what I was expecting. And he, he took me for a ride. You could see those first, those first couple combinations, uh, they definitely, they threw me back and, um, you know, I stuck with my game plan and uh, I, I exposed them in the second and the third round. And, um, you know, he just got tired. He got tired. He got really tired. Um, I, I lasted longer than him. I had more gas in the tank and uh, my punches just came off more stronger. So how did you get in this fight game? When did you decide to box and do that kind of stuff? Um, you know, I, I had a, my first uh, semi-pro fight um like back in 2019 um and then you know I took it as a joke I wasn't training I wasn't you know but somebody challenged me to do something which was that's what it was one of my friends on Facebook tagged me in the event it was like you should sign up signed up jokingly thinking you know um but you know boxing boxing is a real deal even you know um unsanctioned fights one minute it, you would step in the ring with this MMA box and it doesn't matter it's gonna be um, and it's going to take effort. Uh, so after my first fight, uh, I didn't do anything in 2020. They called me back twice, um, back to back in February and April of 2021. And then that was the marking point where I was like, hold on, I might be on to something here. And, uh, you know, and not only that, you're going to pay me, uh, let me be me, uh, get to get to go as with much get to go with much exposure as possible and not get arrested for beating the crap out of somebody like that's you know what i mean I that's can't right go, up that's right up your alley huh yeah you know what i mean and i'm psychotic like i'll let you hit me uh, like any of my opponents i there's any of my fights they thought they had an easy punch no i i want to feel your power uh, that's how it is my that first round i want to i want to see what you got well and you know? in the last fight you didn't necessarily dodge a bunch of Derek's punches but you were able to kind of walk through them and get into where you needed to be at and, and land your punches and if it was a take one to give one you ended up giving more than you were taking and uh that's the name of the game if you can stand up and take those kind of punches now when we say six and one that's like sanctioned through the athletic commission and stuff but you had a bunch of other fights too that was unsanctioned right yeah i had a couple and you know some of the guys in this tournament from that stuff. The magician, Chris Almonte, uh, the, your next opponent, Gorilla Eugene Edwards. Like, you know those guys from some of that stuff, and, and that was kind of part of the reason you got in this thing, right? It was the whole reason, because they they were on uh, Facebook. They were talking, they talked. So, you know, I wasn't, you know, you, you know, because I was messaging you. I'm like, 
let me get in this tournament. Like this, this I got two reasons why I want to join. And um, sadly, the first reason got dropped, which all that shit he was talking, he got fucking laid out, which he should enough. Uh, Lambert, good guy, he's a great fighter, you know what I mean? But I don't think he should have got, for all that shit he was talking about and all that skills and the golden gloves and da 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 da, like, uh, it's just, it's a little pathetic to me, honestly. Um, but I, I wanted to fight him, and you, uh, as soon as I won, you you, know, you already know I was in your DMs. Like I want Gorilla next. Like I I need him. Like because they that that twenty that twenty two and two record ain't shit when you're picking your own fights, and that's what they do out there. And and Winchester, Virginia, that's what Scarface does out there. They 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 pick and select their fights. Well, they and uh, and at one. And at one point here recently, even Scarface himself, he picked you, but then he did realize that was probably a bad decision. It was a bad idea. Same thing with his little, with his little buddy, uh, uh, Best of Bitch, or whatever, Best of Bond, whatever his name is. Um, they, they, he, he made a video about me, how I'm the worst fighter ever, then took it down. So he recanted on what he was saying. So I already right there, I don't respect him as a man because uh, you, um, I'm, at the end of the day, I'm, all a man got is his word. Second of all, Scarface was talking so much crap, but behind the scenes, if I would have showed everybody the DMs and what he was saying, he would lose a lot of followers because he's he's fake. He doesn't want to fight. One of my buddies wanted to fight him, and he didn't want to fight him either because he picks. He fought a dude that's never been in the ring. He calls me out. He already knew I was going to be in Vegas for a prior event, and that I was and and that I was going to be in California because it was right there next to each other. Then and then goes on and fights a, a MMA guy or whatever he was that shouldn't even been in the boxing ring with him in the first place, and then brags about it like, oh, a uh, little one-eyed wolf, uh, the one-eyed pup, da 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 da, the one-eyed wimp. That's what he was calling me. The one I, like, bro, I, I would have destroyed him, and then right after that fight, I would have told Esteban to get in the ring, and I would have destroyed him too. Street beef does not want no problems with the one-eyed wolf. They none they I, I give me any fighter they got and I will destroy them because they're not they're not real fighters. They, and it's, they like, it's not just them either. It's like the semi pro organization that you talked about that you've reached out to that you've been with before. Like, I don't feel like you've gotten a fair opportunity that every time you start to be successful and show who you are, it's like the rug gets they, pulled out from underneath you. They don't want it because they don't want real fighters. You look, look at, look at, they want knockouts. They want views. They want ratings. And that's all it's about. They don't care how great a fighter is. They don't want a great fighter because what, what good would I be in there taking heads off? Country Hoodlum, I'd take his head off. Bobby Lang, I'd take his head off. I'd take all their heads off without a problem, without what, what, the snap of my finger. And um, they, they, they don't want to lie. It would be an issue. It would be a, it would be a complete, total issue. I'm right there with you. You're uh, they're probably smart in making the decision to not let you in there because it would, it would, it'd be embarrassing a little bit, but Hey, in our tournament, that's what it's great about is you do get the chance to show how good you are, how far you can go. And at that point, when it's all over with, if anybody's got some bragging rights and you end up with that belt, you're like, Hey, I'm the best. If somebody wants it, they can come get it. But I think that, you know, you and I have talked, I talked with Jessica, you know, a little bit and, you know, we feel like you're ready for the next level. Like, uh, it's time to start getting paid to do this and, on the regular and, and be a professional. I think this tournament may be your last kind of tune up before that. What do you think? Yeah, it definitely is. I know. Uh, I've seen your your one of your other videos with Mister Mister Matt Adams. He uh he he another one that that gonna catch the wolf's paws. Uh, uh, any of your, the heavyweights that were there, James Burns, I, I would have dropped them. Um. What's the other dude's name he fought? Uh, big, big country. Is no, it big country? You're, you're thinking of Brandon Boggs, probably. The, the, uh, who, the who, who did Burns fight that night? The Boone County boy, Brandon the Boggs. Boone him. Yeah. I, I, I can't wait to go pro. I cannot wait because they 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 don't want a problem. They they're gonna get it. So. Uh, he, you know, we'll see how all that stuff plays out, man. You definitely are on the, the, the wind streak and stuff right now. I guess, you know, they say the most important fight is the next one. And the next one is with Eugene Edwards. And it's I, fine. I'm, it's time to settle that when you guys started long time ago with a little bit of online, him talking about his views, who he was and you were. So tell me that story. Like, how did you know this guy? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, he uh, he 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 talked a big game in the beginning, uh, like how everybody else did, trying to defend Scarface, and oh, Scarface gonna smoke you, Scarface gonna beat you. I'm like, yo, I would destroy you. Same thing with Magician. He was running his mouth. Oh, you ain't a fighter. Da, 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 da. Mind you, I got people. I got one eye. I cannot see out of my left eye. And I am destroying these grown men that think, and, and with way more boxing experience with me than me, way more fights than me, and I'm dropping them with ease. I'm winning. I'm on a six-win streak right now, and I've yet to be stopped. Will that day come? Probably. Is it going to be June 18th? Nope. Is it going to be the next fight after that? Nope. Because I am a problem. I'm a train and I can't be stopped. My opponent was talking about, oh, I'm working out quietly and I'm not posting nothing because because you're not working out, my guy. I post what I post to show you. I'm fe I'll am feed it to you on a silver platter what I'm going to do. I'll tell you my whole game plan in the locker room right before that fight. You know, but you know what the difference is? Is they ain't going to be able to stop me. They can't stop me. I'm, I'm too powerful for them. I think quick in the ring, and I I just adjust too well. Gibson thought he had me. Gibson thought he he had it locked in the first round. I adjusted, and I executed. Same thing with Chansey. I fought Chansey sick as shit, coughing up a lung in the locker room right before. I could not breathe. And I still stepped in that ring, and I adjusted, because I don't make excuses. Like, you know my I, on the fight with Chancey, it was, I knew he was, a, it's supposed to be really good. I knew what they had told me about him and I was worried if something happened and, and he got you, then you were going to be out of this tournament. Cause it was so close to the tournament start. And it was like a week before the tournament or something. Yep. And, uh, yeah, so when, yep. when I got, when I got the results that night and you had beat him, I'm like, you know, hell yeah, let's go. Like, this is, this is what I wanted him for. I thought this is who he was when I watched him fight. Cause in Huntington, uh, who'd you fight? Zach Willett, I think, on my yeah. show. I mean, you yeah, walked yeah. you you walked right through him. He's a good dude, but like he just he wasn't yeah. in your class. Uh, so after you took care of Chansey, I thought, man, this is awesome. And we ended up putting you with Derek. And uh I mean, I was totally impressed with the way you were. Like you say, you're trained, and here you come. Like by the end of the fight, you were walking right through him. That was impressive, man. I'm dedicated. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm really about this. Like the one I wolf is a problem. Like everything I say, I mean it because I speak it into existence and I manifest it. I'm not, this ain't, this ain't a game. Like these dudes, like if I'm, I'm going to call them out. If I'm the gorilla and I'm 27, I'm going to be somewhere. Especially if you, if you're not, you're not on a level where you should be my guy. He's not. And it's because he's not dedicated. He's not doing what he needs to be doing. That's on him. But I, I'm just getting started. I might be I might be 29 going on 30 this year, but it doesn't matter because I, I feel great. I'm, I'm getting stronger. I'm getting quicker. I'm getting faster. And, and well, don't let me drop weight. Don't let me drop to 220. I'm at 260. Wait till my wait till I drop down the weight. It's 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 gonna be a problem. And they're, they're not gonna be ready for the one I wolf. They're not ready for me now. Hey and man, I'm, you I'm myself. I'm not. I'm not. I'm 10 percent where my great niece is at hey, and I'm you, already you've got a great story the the obstacles the hurdles that you've overcome like you said I mean the one-eyed wolf the name you've got you can't see out of that left eye you're coming in there with one we don't bring it up very often because you don't want any type of excuse or anything like that but like your story is a great one man and 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 the way that you fight is awesome to watch you um it is exciting from the time the bell rings till it's over with. And that's what we want. I think you got the, a bright future ahead of you, man. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So the fight we're talking about is just over a month away. It's June the 18th in Charleston, West Virginia, the capital city. We've waited a decade to promote there. We've got the best card I think we've ever put together. Um, excited to watch you. There's eight guys left in the heavyweight division. You're three wins away from being king of the mountain state, having a big pro contract waiting on you. Uh, the belt and all that kind of stuff to put with your collection of belts that you're starting to put together now. Uh, we're proud of you, man. Thank you for getting in this. I know you've overcome some travel. You're one of the farthest guys, if not the farthest guy away to get well, to anything. I was to come to West Virginia and they hometown and destroy them. When I took this belt, I, everybody was rooting for Chansey. I just, I destroyed all of that because that's what I do. I come I saw and I conquered. I'll come to your backyard, your hometown, and slap you in your mouth in front of your mama. You ain't shit you gonna do about it.
Hey man, I hope I wish everybody had that mentality. We're lucky to have you. I'm excited to watch That's this wild. one. You and Eugene Edwards, the gorilla it's time. What an awesome fight, man. I'm glad it's on our show. Uh, train hard, man. Keep yourself healthy. You got a few fights left to win this thing, but, uh, the only one that matters is the next one. So make sure you're ready for that one.